still play against good decks and everything. See? Trundle Trindamir. It's a good deck. No, with us drawing the other... If they would have challenged Nocturne, they could have maybe stabilized. But with us drawing the other Nocturne, we were going to be able to win anyway. Um, let's get rid of that card. So I could... So I could go for like the turn one six damage. And then it kills my Onlooker, but you know, turn Onlooker into Decimate. That's probably not bad. Having zero mana Decimate, that's probably worth it. The other option, of course, was using Stalking Shadows, uh, like, just playing, like, Onlooker now, like, waiting until Stalking Shadows get an Ephemeral, have that Ephemeral cost less. Uh, six damage turn one's pretty cool. Good. Keep the pressure on. What's the point of Islander? I guess just to do things like that. Just make it... Um, and I'm saving Stalking Shadow so we can play that, then Doom Beast. Just make it a little... Make our deck a little faster, I guess. The War Mother will unite us all. Take Stygian and Onlooker, thank you. So the question is, do I play around... Today we fight as one. Do we play around Avalanche? We could have Avalanche or Icequake. Or not. Alright, well Elise does a good job of, like, we get to play Elise first. That's actually, that was actually a really good draw. No. Do not heal your Nexus 3. This is my Ranger's Resolve to heal their Nexus 2. Eh. We'll just do this. Yes! Another Onlooker. Perfect. Let's go. It's going to be the best avalanche of all time, if they have it, or they're dead. Looks like they're dead. Turn 5 kill. Going to be a turn 5 kill. No. They, okay, Troll Chant. I was going to say, Vile Feast actually would keep them alive, but they, they would have just played Vile Feast or, or Speak before. They could have just played those before. That still doesn't save them. Turn five kill. On turn five, they played Grass the Undying, Troll Chant, Troll Chant to keep me from doing all that damage, and they still died. Okay. This one should be a better matchup for us. Um, but yeah, it should be. We're going to struggle getting Lux. Um, no, we'll get this. We may struggle getting Lux off the battlefield. Cool. Just got a whole bunch of draw twos in hand. We should have plenty of time to play draw twos. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Clad in shining sunlight. We should. Hmm. No, the two infinite mind splitters. Oh man. Talk about some bad luck with the tosses right there. Double infinite mind splitter. Eat the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> 
there's one in, in Violus Vox now. I only have one Aurelian Soul, one of, in Violus Vox left, so only one Dragon's Clutch is going to do something now. No mercy for heretics. The guilty were bad. Yeah, that's true. Nautilus can bring him back. That's true. Sunrise. Nautilus can bring him back. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. What if I'm supposed to lead with Solari Soldier? The power of the yeah, I should have led with Solari Soldier. Glorious light rains down. Bad decision by me. Scorching light. Fish out of water. Crash you, Wiggle. No. This thing just doesn't really seem that important to kill, does it? That's what I'm thinking. Got to keep removal for Lux. So I'm, we could Dragon's Clutch right now, draw the Enviolus Vox, draw Aurelian Soul, and then so we'll have uh, the Vox to play next turn. I think that's the route that I'm going to go. Nine cards in hand. Daylight, everlasting. I am the bulwark against darkness. We're only five away from deep. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. All right, so Bastion, Bastion stops sunburst. I should have fired off. I guess I should have fired off the sunburst. So I can't really just play ship recorder because we just die. Should have just fired this off before, I suppose. Yeah, Bastion's a huge problem. Going to the light. Good. Answer to me. All unbelievers will see the light. Sunlight guided, my brethren. Well, Bastion stops the spell from happening, so the spell doesn't silence. So, want to jettison here after we put the treasures in, so now we, it's going to be more likely that we draw the treasures. Possible they'll never run out of daybreak cards Daylight though. Warms the heart and lights the way. Sunlight lines. You never know. Believe or burn. Used firebrand. Treasure trove. I don't have room for you. Nine cards in hand. Uh, I guess we just pass. We can basically get rid of, you know, most most all non-champions in our deck. So we have we still have the four champions. We still have the two Twisted Fates and two Nautilus. Not gonna have another celestial card in hand, and with star shaping, the all like the removal that you get are all like if you behold another celestial. But I'm not gonna behold another celestial. Bless 
blessings from the sun. So we can still gain seven life with star shaping. You know, star shaping and guiding touch together. That's unfortunate. And that's fortunate. So that's going to be better than star shaping so you get to stun. So we can stun, you know, it'll stun the Radiant Guardian. That's worth more than five life. That was a big reason why I wanted to play the Fused Firebrand also, of course, was the um, was the Spell Shield to be able to stop getting stunned. Okay. So we block here and just block here. Take two. So am I going Aurelian Soul? It's probably just best just to play Aurelian Soul. Otherwise, I could play like Jaw Hunters and try to challenge. Nah, let's just go Aurelian Soul. Um. This is the end, Aurelian. We start oh man, we're gonna have Descent. The, the Skies Descend also. That card is sweet. See, once our deck gets going, it's never going to run out of cards. <laughs> like, we have a treasure trope here, and we're just never going to be able to play treasure trope, because we can't we can't get a small amount of cards in our in our hand. I wonder if I should jettison and just get jettison out of my hand. No, probably not. Attack with these. Seem like per perfectly reasonable attacks. Back heretic. At my oh, I'm gonna. R I really hope this isn't Nautilus. So I'm gonna just have ten cards, aren't I? Please don't be Nautilus. Be something else. Okay, good. Because the reason why I didn't want to play Jettison is because I want to have 11 mana, right? Like, this thing costs 11. So I didn't want to spend my 1 mana on Jettison. Strike for justice! Descend upon them! Banish the unworthy! No mercy for heretics. I don't really know exactly what this attack's about. I kind of feel like I shouldn't be blocking with Aurelian Soul. Like I should maybe have my 6-6 six, six be blocking the Leona and my Twisted Fate block the two the 5-5. Five, five. Obviously, if we if we survive this, and if we survive, and if not, if Auto, uh, if Aurelian Soul survives, we're gonna be looking great. Galaxies faster than this. Like Judgment would take up eight mana. Yep, down to two. Get up, puppy. But Aurelian Soul is alive. And so that's important.
Okay, how many cards in hand do we have? If we play Treasure Trove, that's three, six, seven. So we'd make... All right, so I can jettison. No, play Worm Egg. Wait, well, I guess I'll just play this. <laughs> I was going to play the Treasure Trove and create four cards and hope the four cards gave us a lot of power so we can just open attack and kill them. But I guess the play Worm Egg does that. So that'll work. Look at us. Sea monsters and dragons fighting side by side. GG. Barely stayed alive at two. I feel like we're gonna get some even better games. We'll see. All right, GGs. We'll take that win. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. All right, on over to us. Um, we're just gonna keep everything except for the five mana card with the host. Uh, actually, you know what? On second thought, we'll just keep the Aragna host also. Let's keep them all. I know what lurks in the shadows. So playing against Pirate Burn. This is going to be a tough one to win to go 3-2. Pirate Burn's a real good deck. So this is going to be a tough one. That's a great 2-drop to be able to block my Elise. Doesn't scare me. Um, but we still get an extra Spiderling for our trouble. We take 1 damage and get a Spiderling. GG's, I guess my opponent's saying. So they're probably saying that I'm going to die. Yeah, I do have a whole bunch of nothing going on. Yeah, they got they really like to let me know that they're gonna win this game. Wow, our hand is horrible. Not very good. You'll fight or you'll swim. Oh. Never stop <laughs> you don't think I understand the game's been over? All right, so the host can block Gangplank for us. Love ya. So it's us taking a whole bunch of damage. I think my best play is probably Darius. It's not 10 power yet. So I guess they want to block with Petty Officer and then use a spell to kill my Darius. Is it possible we just don't attack with Darius? Is it possible we don't attack with Darius? No, I think we attack. Yeah, I think that's still worth. Make it rain is really good. That card is very good. Well, I'd like to atrocity, we just don't get to. Even though that's what I'd like to do. A 
That doesn't. That just does one damage. That was just a really bad Mega Rain. That was a. That was a terrible Mega Rain. Honestly, if they just don't play that Mega Rain, they probably can't lose. But now that they just wasted that Mega Rain, maybe they can. No one's the wiser. For the Empire. Okay, we still got a shot. Not out of it yet. Host and then Skitterer? No, I think we go Skitter first. And then Host. Oh, really? That's gonna just draw a spell. They've already played three Mega Rain, so I can't so they're not gonna be drawing Mega Rain. So that's just gonna be drawing Noxion Fervor or Oh my gosh. I guess one of the Mega Rains was a misfortune. Okay, so I'm down to one. Timing is everything. Oh, they're blocking with Legion Saboteur still. So they're gonna just try to have Misfortune. I was gonna say, like, Misfortune and Legion Saboteur can still do one. Alright, so we're going to. So, like, they'll be able to do one with Misfortune, but we'll have Atrocity. Oh, two of them were Misfortune? Okay. I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention, honestly, with those. So. So they have to draw the burn spell to kill me, right? Like, they still get the priority even after that, because, like, they're still going to have lethal, and so it's up to me to respond. Um, doesn't Blocking that thing doesn't matter. All right, GG's. Oh, I get to do GG emo. I don't, you know, I muted them after a while, so I don't know if they were still emoting. That was a good win right there. <laughs> that was a good win. Yeah, we had that we had that game locked up so well. That's so frustrating. Whoa, what is this card? Unspeakable horror? Huh. I didn't I didn't think we could have that in our deck. Whoa, that's weird. I'm gonna keep it. Is the one true light. Bless the people and fear the heretics. No mercy for heretics. <laughs> this one card for them got a 2 1 and a 3 4 and a 9 8 elusive with uh, spell shield. That's, that's what that's called. Ridiculous. Unyielding light. So Equinox, Equinox would be good against Robin. Yeah, basically that, that's what Equinox would be good would be against Robin. I'm gonna take this 4-1 Overwhelm. Okay, so basically I was thinking that I didn't really want to play Leona and then they play their own Leona. I don't know, maybe I still just don't want to do that. I probably should just attack. Ah, they don't have Leona. Okay, it worked out. Messenger's cool. Hmm. My faith protects me. 
Hey, Tony. Well, that's too bad. I don't get to play more three sixes or Solari Priestess or anything like that. All right, let's see what we get with our Nightfall card. We get Lunari Priestess, Dusk Rider. All right, star shaping now. Or waste two mana. I guess I'll waste two mana. I don't feel like I was supposed to start shaping. Witness glory. You want to pill cascade and have these trade? That's cool. Follow me. Take the warrior. Yeah, we're playing ranked. I wasn't too worried about open attacks right here. Want to play warrior? Yeah, they they played a messenger sigil, so they've been so they have a bunch of mess you know, so they have like five messengers in their decks. So they've drawn two of them so far. My flutter friends are so pretty. Scorching light. Yeah, maybe we lose to Elusive Spell Shield Dragon again. Guess you never know. Anything is possible. Some puppers. That was a good Living Legends for them. There's only one card they didn't play. That was pretty good. Okay, so we have an Equinox, Great Beyond, Moon Silver, Trickster, Crescent Strike, Written in Stars. Gonna play that and pass. Gonna pass him back to me. So of course we want to play more celestial cards first. So that um, our great beyond is larger. And now, this time, we have Huge Elusive with Spell Shield. Hmm. So if we challenge 5-5, five, five, attack with all these, pull four blocks to 8-8, eight, eight, they take 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, and they are at 12. So they take Not Lethal.
Yeah, still... Yeah, still an 8-8, so, you know, traded with one of those. I know these paths well. Let's try again. What else we got? Alright, so we cannot play the Warrior and Golden Sister. We can play Ridden Stars and Warrior and Moon Glow and Messenger. Yeah, I think I like doing all that. Start with Messenger. Messenger believes it chases the trickster. Cool. So I guess instead of playing the warrior, I could play Meteor Shower. Play the warrior. I love we'll have our eight four not trade with four fours. That's not a wonderful trade. All right, thresh first. Or attack first. Yeah, we're not necessarily going to be winning this game. Them answering our, our great beyond both my you know they basically answer both my living legends. We're not necessarily going to be winning this game. So we, I'd have to use a lot of cards to kill Robin right now if we want to kill Robin. Keep Leona from stunning stuff. Just doesn't sound like that good of an option. We rise. What? The whole point of me doing that was so it wouldn't be daybreak. That was the whole point of me doing that, was so it wouldn't be Daybreak. I guess I should have done that to Leona. Huh. I should have done that to Leona. Oh, no, that thing... All oh, right, that thing grows again. Leona grows again. No, you don't you don't heal things by hushing. So if, if I would if I would hush my own Draco, it would just be an 8-6. It wouldn't be an 8-8. Eight, eight. You don't it doesn't get healed. Alright, let's see how they block. Lord no spark will fly. Try to leave a dent. Wow. Okay, rather pr protect Leona than protect their Nexus. Unfortunately, only Unspeakable Horror is doing damage to the Nexus. That's the only one. 
is gonna die. All right, let's see how this this works. So this will, um, this will have the Thresh level up, uh, which will then kill the Mountain Crier. cards they have. Four cards? Not, not the most cards. I know, can we get at least one pirate aggro matchup? I hope so. I sure hope so. So I want to Unspeakable Horror the Robin, but... I, they're also at two. So in case we draw it, we've only, our, I guess we've already played one unspeakable horror, right? So we'd have to draw our third unspeakable horror. Okay, well I'm really glad that, or you know, I'm glad that we just see that. So now I know it's unspeakable horror there, Robin. The dawn has arrived. Uh. All right, so that stuns the great beyond. So if I go Vengeance on Leona, Unspeakable Horror on Robin, that leaves me at 10 with two blockers, but I only want to block with one. Could basically have them have lethal. I guess, so I guess like, so basically I guess that means I don't get to Vengeance, Leona. And I kind of also think that means that we don't get to Nightfall. No, because I, mm. All right, being greedy here. I really hope they don't have another Daybreak card. Bask in her radiant blessing. Please don't have another Daybreak card. Okay, good. Back, heretic. You cannot sway me. Come back down to one. So I can't risk them having unspeakable horror and then I play like Doom Beast or, or Grass the Undying and they unspeakable horror and kill me. We're gonna be star shaping. so far of fighting through this uh, this thing that's given every, all their stuff plus two plus two. It's not easy to fight through that. We got our own Leona now. That will get rid of the spell shield. The sun's splendor revealed. Our sun will not set today. Doesn't look great. So I'm at 15 cards left. They're at 19 cards left. 
protect you. Alright, good. No pill cascade. That would have killed me. Switch spots. With two and four. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So I could go Leona Thresh. That puts in another Leona attacking, or we could just go the Living Legends. I believe I have another Leona in my deck, but I guess I don't remember. This has been a super long game. They obviously just killed one Leona. Here's one Leona. I, I'm not 100% sure that I have a third Leona um, in the deck. I think I do. Behold the sun's holy light. Probably said I had, do you have a living Leo? Oh, or sorry, do you have a Leona left? The dawn has arrived. I thought, I thought they were out of Leona. I thought I killed three. Guess not. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up, Jake? All right, so I attack with Thresh. I have two options. Either kill one of their things like this, which is a poor option, because then, then their 6-8 blocks my 4-6. Or go like this, where they still have to block the 4-6. Cabo, come on. Gabo says, you still have a Leona 100%. Well, it's less than that. Sunlight burns in our weapons. <laughs> right, so that stuns two things. I should kill Leona and stun another thing. dead yet. I'm glad they didn't play that first before attacking. The mountain speaks to those who listen. Young yeah, really glad they didn't play these first. Alright, so you have a Scourge and a Crescent Strike. Probably going that route, Scourge, Crescent Strike. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just... Six ten. The messenger chases stars from the sky. Yeah, I guess that would have been safer, wouldn't it? If I would have just played Scourge first and just held up Ashton to protect Scourge. I guess you're right. I guess that would have been safer. 
I was thinking, I don't know. I, yeah, I was thinking Stun and Equinox. I didn't need to do any of those, did I? Yeah, y'all are right. All right, awesome. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna give it a try, but yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Ice Veil Archer. It's definitely my least favorite card in the whole deck. So it's the very first card we see. I think I'm gonna mulligan it and keep everything else. <clears throat> All right, so we're we're playing against the deck we just played, which is a very good deck and a very good deck against um, small units, which makes playing a 3-1 um, less enticing. Now, I know we're playing the Teemo. I just hope they can't kill Teemo right away. Which they have they have a lot of ways to kill Teemo. Make it rain and parlay. So, do not want to see make it rain or parlay. Because if they don't, we get to... Um, darn. They did, unfortunately, but we get to hit them with Teemo and then cast Shared Spoils. That was really my plan for this game. It's unfortunate we got paired against the one deck with Parlay. I don't think now I just play another Teemo and let it die as easily. I think that, especially if we had if we had three mana, then I would consider playing it. But we only had three. we did not have three mana. All right. Well, now I have nothing else to play. Ouch. My collection. Yeah, that that card with the tough would definitely be better in this matchup. Really, Peddler? I couldn't just have play you last turn. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Our opponent's deck's definitely looking good. They grow up so fast. officer, unit six. It's looking good. Cool. Your turn. We'll just kind of save Sejuani a little bit. You know, like, we're forever away from leveling it up. They're doing a great job leveling up their Gangplank. They were already going to do damage to us this turn anyway with the Powder Monkey. Oh man, their unspeakable horror hit Lunari Priestess. Calm mind and well, that's great. To greet the night. It's the best possible. All right, so they're up to 19 pop caps. We'll start drawing those pretty soon. I guess maybe not yet. What once was two wow. now is one. Bow to no one. That one unspeakable horror killed my Teemo and gave him all this. Well, that's kind of silly to be playing. Um, attack. So I, it doesn't make the most sense, in my opinion, to be playing Vile Feast over Unspeakable Horror. It's such a great card. Hey, Enrios, doing good. I refuse. Haven't drawn a puff cap yet, so we still don't have shared spoils turned on. Maybe here? Nope. We're not that lucky. Alright, well that's most likely game. I've 
the fun guy. So I can cast Shared's Poils and get a fleeting card and try to hit Troll Chant or Elixir of Iron. Yeah, we'll do it. Hey, how about that? Yes, of course. That worked out. Insightful investigators being sweet. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. They're probably gonna start drawing some puff caps now. Probably. Okay, one out of five. <sighs> Almost there. Almost there. Pain is nothing. So unfortunately I'm only gonna have two mana. I'm always up for a round or two. That is four damage. Dead in their tracks. Starlet Seer. The only reason we're in this game is this insightful investigator. <laughs> no, don't play more spells. Just let this die. Looks like it's probably something that's going to kill all my things and then also Glimpse Beyond. Called it. It's not too bad. Could be worse. We're going to just discard the top card of our deck. It's going to be fleeting. Get bloody, get paid. We see through all. Mm. Sorry, Icefell Archer, you would have been nice to have. No puff caps there? Come on, they didn't draw a puff cap? I need them to draw puff caps. I'm only at one out of five. They grow up so fast. And that would mean what's your iron? Don't get to use it here, of course, because I had to click OK on that Mystic Shot to cast it. Probably just use it on the Sejuani. Could use it on Insightful Investigator, too. We'll do it on the Insightful Investigator. I got a backup Sejuani in hand. They gotta start drawing puff caps now, right? Yeah. Shared spoils is just like the best possible draw because it gets us multiple cards. Nice Phil Archer here, I guess. Okay, troll chant. That's another another insightful investigator hit. Don't have Withering Whale. Yeah, they're blocking like Withering Whale. Alright, that does three. Yeah. 
Which one of these would be the most important to save? Maybe Insightful Investigator? And that would mean... oh, an auspicious season. That's a really good gotcha draw. Bring me chaos! Now it's just doing one. Blessed by snow and stars. Shining softly. Aru. We can keep this going. Keep up, keep up. Yeah, draw those cards. Four puff caps. We'll take it. Another troll chant. Dude, Insightful Investigator has been so clutch. Oh no, Shared Spoils, that's my best card. So they're still at 63 puff caps. <laughs> Six puff caps. All right, they're almost dead. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. They cannot strike where they yep. cannot see. So that's going to be able to do nine damage to me, put me down to three. Cold in moonlight. The unspeakable horror is just so good. Like, all these cards they have are all because of Unspeakable Horror. <laughs> all of them. Your king has returned. Down to two. Explosives. Yes, they drew six puff caps. Let's go! What a game! What a game!